Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome to another video of Paige going through decluttering some makeup. And of course, I'm going to tell you in this video what I'm getting rid of and a brief reason why. It's not going to be like a super deep dive into anything in this box, but I do have a bunch of stuff here. I'm actually really excited to do this because anytime I do these, I already have like in my head where the makeup's going to go. It already has a home like lined up. And I just love knowing that like, even though I'm getting rid of it, it's still going to go to somebody that's really excited. And I don't know, it just makes me smile because it's kind of that old like one man's trash is another man's treasure kind of thing. And it just makes me really excited. So I hope that you guys like it. In the last video too, I did ask you guys what you prefer as far as this style goes. Like if you want it to be um, done like this where I'm on camera, you know, more of like a normal video, or if you prefer it the other way where it's just the camera looking at the products. And a lot of you guys did give me the feedback that you like this version, you're okay with this. Of course, you can leave me your feedback again in the comments if you still like the style or if you like the other style, totally fine. It just always give me your thoughts in the comments so I know what y'all are thinking. But before we get going too far into the video, I am going to speed through a couple of announcements as per usual. And I know that you guys like to skip through this part. Don't do that, okay? Just stay with me. Stay with me. And I promise if you stay, I will try to be faster. How does that sound? Okay, I'll try to just sum it up a little quicker. But for anybody that is new here, I do like to pause at the start of my videos and just introduce myself. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Again, welcome to the channel. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. Uh, my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then, of course, thing number two, if you haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate it if you would take just a second and go follow me over on Instagram. Everything is linked down in the description box, but I'm trying, trying desperately to hit 10,000 followers on that platform. And I, by the way, if I don't say it in every video, I know most of you know this, but like, if I don't say it, okay, who, who's, who's going to tell you? Okay. If you don't know, and I don't tell you who's, who's going to be the one to inform you that I'm trying to hit this goal. Um, so I try to put it in every video for those of you that don't know, that's what's going on. There really is a ton of content over there too. If you're ever looking for more like behind the scenes, I hang out in the Insta stories a lot. Just like the day to day, we do unboxings, we take polls, we go for walks together. And it's just kind of the fun way to get to hang out with me, you know, without all the lights and whatnot. And then also in the feed, there is a ton of content, whether it is like inspo type photos, plus size fashion or makeup application, tutorials, reels, um, little mini makeup reviews, just all of the stuff is over there. Again, I would really appreciate it if you check it out. I put a lot of work into it and I would just really, really like to hit 10,000 followers. So please go do that if you have haven't yet. And then of course, if you haven't been following me on Instagram or seen any of my other videos this week, the third piece of information I have for you is that I finally, finally have a PO box. I have said it a ton of times and I'm not trying to beat anybody over the head with it, but I just want to let you know because obviously not everybody watches every single video. And so yeah, if you haven't seen my other videos or on Instagram, I finally have one. Everything, um, all the details will be down in the description box. I just want to say for the 18th time, there is no pressure. Do not feel obligated to send me anything. That is not why it's there. Just for those of you that have reached out that you want to send me some stuff or something and um, yeah, that's what it's there for. So just keep that in mind. No pressure, but it is listed down in the description box. If you, um, if you want to send me something, there is a PO box now. All right. So let's get going into the video. Okay. Onto the first item. And I just picked this one up and then it just instantly makes me violent. Um, this is the cover FX illuminating setting spray. I know I've talked about this in the past, but I have tried so many times <laughs> to make this work for me. And I think I finally reached a place where I'm just like, you know what? I'm done. I just wanted the hell out of my collection because this spray, you guys, like, look at this. It is so full of glitter. It is chocked full of so much unnecessary little particle garbage that you can't even, like, look, I am, like, pressing it, okay? I'm really trying to go to town, and you cannot get anything to come out of this because there is so much damn glitter clogging up this little spray hole here, and I just, I don't like it. It doesn't look good even when it does spray. It just, it's like a fucking glitter cannon from a Kesha concert right on your face, which, by the way, for those of you that don't know, I went to a Kesha concert. Maybe one of these days I'll do like a, uh, what is that? Not, I was going to say a shadow and smooge. What is that? Like a, like a story time video, uh, because what an experience, but suffice to say, this is like a glitter cannon and you don't need it. There's a thousand better setting sprays out there. And, uh, this one does, this just ain't it. All right. So next up, I'm getting rid of this one from elf. This is the glow dewy mist with coconut and argan oil. And I'm getting rid of this one because truthfully, I just don't like the way that it feels on my skin. It has like a very thick, almost like milky consistency to it. And whenever I spray it on my face, it feels very heavy and almost tacky. And I just, I don't like it. I think, I think it smells like a, like a vacation. Honestly, it has like a nice coconut smell, but as far as the actual like heaviness and the texture of it, I'm just not a big fan. So uh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to use it. And I figured rather than let it go to waste, I would, um, I would give it to somebody else. So next up, I'm getting rid of this one from Smashbox. It's actually a really, really beautiful compact right here. This is from their hood witch collection and it is their optimistic crystallized highlighter. And I'm getting rid of this one 
because truthfully the um the highlight itself is more of like a pinky sheen and it's not really something that I gravitate towards like in terms of the color number one and then number two it does have more of like a chalky consistency for me and I'm decluttering that one just because honestly I don't get a lot of use out of it like I don't I'm not anti pink highlighter or anything but that one is just like so pink on my skin tone that it looks almost like I carried my blush up too far and so I just figured you know what I'm not gonna keep it I'm not gonna keep it in my collection just because it's beautiful which it is beautiful the packaging is just chef's kiss amazing but I'm not gonna keep it around just for the packaging um, and then also from that same collection I actually have the Smashbox Hood Witch always on liquid eyeshadow and this one is in the shade that's fire and this one I'm getting rid of because the actual formula of it for me it just doesn't work it's too thin and I know like from this distance you really can't tell but it is just a very very thin and almost like a ch like chunky or dry like under makes whatever is going on in this formula um caused it to be almost like immediately separated on my lids like it just was always super creasy and I was just never really able to use it so I figured before it completely dries up I mean you can kind of see the shine from there but I figured before it completely dried up I would give it to someone maybe if they have like less oily lids than me or they're gonna use it in a different way they might really enjoy it so decluttering that okay so next up I'm getting rid of this set of brushes this is the Moda Studio um eight piece pro glam set and Moda brushes actually are pretty nice as you can tell the entire set is unused I kept it in the package and I think that this is one I actually got from BoxyCharm if memory serves and I am decluttering it just because I do not need the brushes like if I were to get brushes right now it would be ones that I want to test out like the Sonia ones from Beautylish I missed out on that which pisses me off still to this moment um but I would be testing those out or I would be testing out like Wayne Goss ones or just you know brushes that I'm really like interested in that I want to test but it's not that there's anything wrong with these it's just that I would rather not touch them and let them go to someone that actually needs brushes because actually out of all the people that I do gift my makeup to they all are always telling me <laughs> that they need brushes because it's just like that one thing that you never really have especially when it comes down to like the shapes and profiles so I'm going to be gifting this as a set and uh, I actually know exactly who it's going to and I think she's going to really love it also brand new I'm getting rid of this one from Fenty this is their kilowatt freestyle highlighter in trophy wife and this is also an item that I got in a boxy charm and I'm getting rid of this one because the shade trophy wife is just like a really intense gold shade and it's not one that uh, works on my skin tone like as a highlighter and so if I were to keep this one it would just be as like a really beautiful gold eyeshadow and there's nothing wrong with doing that I have several of um, the highlighters from Fenty that I do use as eyeshadows from time to time and so at this one I wanted to gift it because I know other people several people actually that would love to own you know something from Fenty that would love to have it in their collection and I just feel like they would get more use out of it than me because like I said I could only really use it on the eyes and the Fenty formula is really beautiful it's super duper buttery and I just don't want it to sit in a drawer and go to waste. Alright so next up from Makeup Revolution I have their Fast Base Stick Foundation and this one is in F13 it's the shade that I would use to like bronze and contour my skin but I have the other shades and I don't know where those where those have disappeared to um, but this foundation slash bronzer whatever I'm getting rid of just because on my skin it doesn't last very well like the, the formula itself is very very creamy and it blends easily but I noticed that it does break up really quickly and it just doesn't last on my skin at all and the coverage tends to slough away like especially from my acne or my raised texture areas and so yeah I'm just gonna declutter it let someone else play with it see if it's the formula for them all right so next up I'm getting rid of this one also from Makeup Revolution this is their Fierce is Fire palette and it has like eyeshadows in the center face products on the side and for me it's just really really heavy feeling like it's super chalky and I don't know if this is one that I purchased I feel like this may have been a free gift with purchase actually off of their website but uh, I just don't like it I feel like the the texture of it's way too heavy the consistency is not pleasing and I just don't like it so I'm going to give it to somebody that will like it all right so next up I'm also decluttering this one from the Morphe Jeffree Star collab this was in Starberry and I'm getting rid of this because I really don't like the way that it feels on the skin it has like a uh, almost like a heavy tackiness to it even though the spray itself is very reminiscent of like the classic Morphe spray which I love the one in the black container is amazing um, but this one just doesn't have that same like press refreshing feeling it just has like I said kind of a, a tacky heaviness to it and so I'm getting rid of it for that and I also don't really care for the scent I prefer like I said a thousand times the original Morphe scent I feel like that one is the best and this one uh, this one just don't do it for me so I'm finally decluttering it I've tried a thousand times but like it's time it's got to go it's got to go all right so next 
next up, I'm getting rid of this one, which I probably will just throw this one away because it is so old and very expired. But this is the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. And I actually got this right after the collection was launched, which was what, like two, two-ish years ago? And I'm actually getting rid of this one for the same exact reason that I am getting rid of the Cover FX one because neither of these I could ever make work for me. There is so much glitter in them that like, yet again, just like with the Cover FX one, it the, um, the sprayer won't even work because it's just clogged up with glitter. And not to mention, by the way, not only is it clogged full of glitter and you end up with like poof, that, that kind of glitter cannon effect, which I will say cover FX one is worse than this one, but I still don't like this one. Um, but not only do you get that from it, I also don't feel like this one gives you any sort of like a, a refreshing feeling on the skin. I feel like it carries like a heaviness with it that I'm just not a fan of. So I just finally figured, you know what? It's done. It's time. And I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be done with her. I need to stop trying. Okay. Just like with relationships. Okay. Toxic ass relationships. Like you just need to let them go. Let it go. Let it go. And I am just like to that place. I need to start getting there with my makeup where I'm like, bitch, stop trying to make it work. Let it go. Let it go. All right. So next up, I am getting rid of something I never should have owned in the first place. <laughs> and that is a big old tub of body glitter. And I have multiple of them, all of which are from ColourPop. These are their glitterally obsessed body glitters. I have it in 18 karat one or 18 K one. And oh wait, no shit. <laughs> That's what they're all called. Okay, hold on. Let me try that again. This is from, this is Avenue of the Stars. This one is Eternal Sunshine. And this one is Outside the Lines. And if memory serves, actually, I probably have more in my other declutter box. So if you see them again, that's why. It's not like I'm decluttering the same ones over and over again. But I am getting rid of these because, guys, I just do not use body glitter. I don't know how, actually, I do know how. I was going to say I don't know how they ended up here. But if I remember correctly, they were actually a part of a collection um, that had launched like one of the collections I wanted. And um, they ended up with me because I bought them in a bundle, like the whole collection as a bundle. And um, I didn't know that that's what these were. I thought that they were like um, an eye type glitter. And so for me, it's not that there's anything wrong with them. They're actually quite beautiful. Like as far as, oh wow, that one's really, really pretty. Um, it's not that there's anything wrong with them. I mean, as far as a body glitter gl goes, as far as a body glitter goes, cool. I'm, uh, I'm sure that they're really good, you know, for, for what they're supposed to do. For somebody like me who would only use these like for a fun photo shoot, which by the way, full disclosure, I did keep, I want to say a couple of them, like maybe two or three shades for that purpose. Um, because you guys know over on Instagram, if you follow me, I've been like really into the fun photography stuff. Aside from the couple that I kept for that, I just felt like these would be so much better served with, um, someone that would actually enjoy them. And I know exactly which little lady they're going to. And I know that she's going to love them because she really enjoys this sort of thing. She's in that fun age. And, um, yeah, I just, I feel like they would be better suited in a house that uh, would actually utilize that. All right, so I have another one of these in here. This is that same uh, Smashbox liquid eyeshadow. It looks like I bought another shade, which I can't read. It's like Hoodanite, ho 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 hoodlum, ho hoodlum sand. Okay, we'll go with hoodlum sand. I don't know what it's called, uh, but I'm decluttering this one for the same reason as the other shade. It just doesn't have enough opacity to it. The texture's weird, and I don't like them. I, there were really, there should have been actually, now that I think of it, there should have been another one of these because I don't think there were any of them that I was able to make work for me. Like the texture was just never there. Um, so yeah, decluttering this one, big, you know, just like the other one. All right, so I'm also getting rid of these from ColourPop. These are a few shades of their Jelly Much eyeshadows, and I am getting rid of these because I just don't reach for them. Like it's a, it's a very interesting texture, and I love ColourPop for like always trying to be innovative and coming out with new stuff. But this just isn't something I reach for. So I wanted to go ahead and give these to someone that I thought would enjoy them, someone that can you know play with and learn the texture before they you know are no good because these ones will dry out regardless of having a lid or not having a lid, they will be no good at some point. So I'm just getting rid of a few ones here. Actually, I feel like there's going to be more of these to do at some point. Um, but this is the shade Into Focus. It's like a really beautiful green shade. There is um, Short Circuit. There's Once in Floral. <laughs> Once and for all, get it. And this one is Whistle and Pixie and Ventura. Yeah, Ventura. Okay, so here's one that I got um, from, I think this was part of the Dollar General video. This is the Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eye shadow and this is in the shade gold flake now this is from the brand believe beauty which i believe this is i believe um this is from the dollar general brand believe beauty and this one i'm getting rid of you can
can see it right there. It's just a nice gold shade, but I'm getting rid of it just because I don't reach for it. And similar to the potted ones, I just don't want it to go to waste. You know, I have a ton, a ton of gold shadows. And I picked this one up to do that video, the, the whole face of Believe Beauty where I tested the brand. There's nothing wrong with the shade itself. And it does have a very like nice pillowy texture, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't want it to go to waste. So doing that. Next up, I'm getting rid of this one. This is the Little Briar Rose Fairy Tale Book from Storybook Cosmetics. It's just a cute little palette. And this one I'm getting rid of. I've actually never used it, never swatched it. And I'm getting rid of it because um, BoxyCharm messed up and two months in a row, they sent me the same palette. Um, and they actually reached out to me, fun fact. And they were like, hey, look, we know we sent you the, the same thing twice. That was our mistake. And so they fixed it. They sent me something else before I ever had to reach out, which was excellent. And uh, so yeah, I never wanted to use this one because it's still brand new and I can gift a brand new item. All right, so here's an item that I absolutely cannot stand. This is the Betsy Johnson palette and it's the, what is this, Blend It Babe eyeshadow palette. And this is one I tested out forever ago. I believe Betsy Johnson did a collab with Fragrance.net maybe, I'm not sure. But I did a full video on the entire line and this was absolutely atrocious. There is no payoff. All the colors are dreadful. There is nothing fun or bright, exciting about this. It just, it is literally the most muted, ugly, like chalky feeling shade. And this for me just makes me violent on so many levels because not only is the quality of it bad, but like they collaborated with Betsy Johnson. Like she is an iconic, iconic designer known for fun and flair and just like all of the beautiful things. And uh, this is how you guys <laughs> chose to represent her like this this is what you're doing? Like, come on, come on. Um, so it makes me mad on several levels, but the quality, it just is not there for me. All right, speaking of the quality not being there, <laughs> oh, guess what? We have another Makeup Revolution, and this is their Black Ice palette, and this was a palette that, honestly, I just thought was gonna be better. I, I was kind of hoping it was one of those ones that it just was better in person than it looked online, and if anything, when it got here, the colors were more muted and more just, ugh. like, it was just, it was so lackadaisical to me. I don't like it. I feel like it's just like, ugh, like there's there's nothing fun about it. The, on, the only pop that is in here is this bright shade. And if you take away that shade, it's just basically a bunch of neutral tones. And it, they're just the same heavy, thick consistency that I already talked about. And I just don't like it. All right, so next up is this bronzer. This is from Morphe. This is their Icon bronzer. Their, yeah, Glamour Bronze Icon bronzer. And this bronzer, for whatever reason, would only work on like certain people. Like on me, it turned completely orange. And when I tell you it was devastating, oh my God, I wanted to love this so much. Like the color of it in the pan looks beautiful, but every single time I pick it up or would pick it up and apply it to my face, it looked absolutely dreadful. And I'm pretty sure if memory serves that it not only did that to me, I think it did it to Taylor too, that Taylor yeah, here on here on the YouTubes. Um, I think it did it to her too, but then there were other people that I saw use it that it worked completely fine with, like other, other pasty people just like myself. And so I don't know what it is with this. I don't know if some batches were like orange and some weren't. I don't know if it's like a reaction to a skin tone or an undertone or whatever. And I even kept it in the original box that it came in. Like, this is the love I had for this. Like, I just, I constantly wanted to make it mine, like, to make it work. And no matter what I did, I could just never, never make it work. So I finally have to accept defeat and get rid of it. Unfortunately, it breaks my heart, but it's gotta go. All right, so next up, I am getting rid, finally, of this palette. Now, this is from Smashbox, and this is a part of their holidays collection that they came out with, I wanna say maybe a year or two ago. This is their Contour and Spot light palette. And for a long, long time, I actually kept this around because it has the most, first of all, the packaging, like it is so sturdy. It's so beefy. And this thing has the most ridiculously awesome mirror. And I love it because it's the kind of mirror that you can actually hold like this, like you can do your makeup like this. And it just fits really comfortably in your hand. Again, it's a, it's a nice, beautiful one. If you want to prop it up, you can do that. And so for a long time, I kept it for just that reason. Like I really loved the actual packaging of it. Like this mirror is fantastic. Finally, I decided I needed to get rid of this because not only um, are the shades in here like a little bit blah for me because again it's supposed to be like a contour bronzer um, highlighty kind of palette and the shades in here they don't really work for my skin tone but also after looking at it for you know several times at this point um, I realized not only are the shades in here not great for me they're really just not great for anyone and this is I'm kind of ending on this one because I feel like in the holiday realm like when it comes down to kits and stuff like this I'm really hoping that stuff like this is something that we left in like 2018, where there is absolutely no inclusion in skin tone, undertone, like th there's just no thought given, I feel like, to literally
literally 85% of the human race when it comes to the design of this stuff because the shades that are in here, like there, there were only, I want to say, two shades that worked in here for my skin tone and there's absolutely nothing in here really that would work on like a deeper skin tone like anything that is deep or rich you wouldn't get any use out of this palette and by the way it wasn't even like they released like other versions of this like oh this one is for light to medium then there's medium to deep or something no there was absolutely no thought put into it and it just occurred to me that honestly I don't want to look at it anymore like I'm sick of it like I love the packaging you know the mirror and all of that's great but I just I don't really want this around me anymore but with that beautiful people another declutter is officially in the books. Don't forget to give me all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments, whether it is on the stuff I decluttered, what you like or hate about it, like if there's anything in here that stands out to you, um, or things that you are also decluttering as of recent because you <laughs> also do not like them. Even if it's just the style of the video, like I said in the beginning, if you like this style, if you're cool with obviously the face-to-face -face part of it, but also the fact that I'm just doing like everything all together, you know, sprays, eyeshadow, you know, just kind of all the items in one. Just let me know all of your thoughts, you know, on the video as a whole as per usual. And of course, as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, all of which would be greatly appreciated. And I can't think of anything else, you guys. Thank you all so, so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It is so hot in here. Uh, uh, so hot in here. And I'm wearing such a cute little two-piece outfit. I will, uh, I don't know if it's in stock, but I will link it below. It's from Laura's Boutique. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? I don't want anybody to try to tell me that I am not like the beauty guru of 2020. I mean, look at this. Look at this hair. Look at this face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like the leaning tower of Pisa or Chisa if you've watched the uh, Extremely Goofy movie. Pink, pink. Like my hair is just like up and to the side. Kind of like, you know, just living its best life. And I think I am just the biggest booty guru. Is that what TikTokers do? I don't know. That's what they do in my head. I don't know if it's true or not. Also, no offense to the TikTokers, but like, I just feel like that's how you do it. You just throw stuff and then, or you just like, you all, oh, also another big thing of being a TikToker, you got to be able to independently somehow lift your ass muscles <laughs> up and down like a, like a camel. Boom, boom. It's just in my head. That's what's going on. Like they just somehow have like a string, like marionette strings on their ass cheeks. Bing, 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 bing. No, just me. Okay. Oh my God. Does your armpit ever just like itch? Like, hello, I got an itch on my armpit. I got an urch in my armpit. Go to bed, Paige.